If you're experiencing issues with loading profiles in the Azeron software, follow this simple instruction to cleanly reset your Azeron keypad, Cyborg, Classic, or Compact. Before doing so, if possible, back up your profiles so you can restore them later on. Note that you'll be able to back up your profiles only if you aren't getting the endless or blank loading screen. You have to copy your onboard memory profiles to the software section so you can restore them as well. Otherwise, they won't be exported. Launch the Azeron software. Go to the settings. Press export. Choose a destination where you'd like to store your profiles. Be sure not to save the profiles in the Azeron software folder since you will delete it later on. If you are experiencing troubles with the keypad, try resetting it to defaults. To reset the keypad to the defaults, go to Settings. Scroll down, press Reset Hardware to defaults. If the issue persists, you should execute a clean reset of your keypad. You have to delete the Azeron software completely off your PC. Uninstall the software. Go to Control Panel, choose Programs and Features. Pick Azeron software and uninstall it. Open any window, switch to the View tab and leave a check mark next to hidden items. Go to the directory Azeron software on your PC Delete all the items. Now you have to reset the software on your keypad. A simple reinstall of the current firmware won't solve the issue. Visit azeron.eu slash downloads and download the latest firmware as well as version 28. Be aware that Cyborg has a different firmware compared to Classic and Compact. If you're trying to cleanly reset the Cyborg, Download the latest Cyborg firmware and the firmware version 28 for any Azeron keypad. Plug your keypad in PC. Unzip the older firmware. There must be two files, Azeron-FW and Teensy. Make sure the profile button on your keypad is in a depressed position. That is, more inside. Launch Teensy. Press Open Hex File button. Choose the hex file that you unzipped with the Teensy. Press the Reset button on the keypad. The Program button on Teensy will be grayed out until you press the Reset key. If the button does not light up after pressing the Reset button on the keypad, there might be a problem with the USB cable or it's not plugged in correctly. Press the Program button in the Teensy application. Then press the Reboot button. Unplug the keypad and plug it back in to complete the procedure. Now install the latest firmware on the keypad. Unzip the latest firmware. There must be two files, Azeron-FW and Teensy. Make sure the Profile button on your keypad is in a depressed position. More inside. Launch Teensy. Press the Open Hex File button. Choose the hex file that you unzipped with the Teensy. If you have a Cyborg, make sure to use the Cyborg firmware, not the Classic or Compact or the Zim Optimized firmware. Press the Reset button on the keypad. Press the Program button in the Teensy application. Press the Reboot button. Close the Teensy application. Unplug the keypad and plug it back in to complete the procedure. Visit azeron.eu slash downloads and download the latest Azeron software. Install the application. Launch the Azeron software. Import your profiles. Go to Settings. Pick Import. Choose the location where you have saved your profiles previously. Press Import. Copy your onboard memory profiles from the software section to the OBM section. Be sure to recalibrate your thumbstick. Go to Settings, Locate Analog Joystick Hardware Calibration section. Press Calibrate. 
Choose Begin Calibration. Follow the on-screen instruction. When the calibration process is complete, press Save. Reboot your PC. Have fun gaming!